welcome to part 4 in the how to videos on using the eClear Games Engine. Again you can see we've already logged in and this is on the teacher page. Now what we're going to do today is look at how we enable games. So first of all what do we mean by enable games? So let's see the games. So we click on enable games and here you can see on the enable games page a whole list of games that have already been created. Some were created by the teachers and some by the project team. Now what we want to do here is now enable these games for our students. Now you're going to say well how do the students find these stuff? Well very simply on their special website. There's a website that is subsidiary to yours to the teachers where they go to use the games. Now let's have a little quick look at that. You can see I'm going up to another tab up here but it will be linked very closely in. And this is the page for your students. Okay so we're on another page it's called home page up here and that's for your students. Now I'm going to click over back to the teacher page. Okay so how do we do that? Well it's very very easy actually. We go down the list till we find the game we want to give to our students. You may have made one and put it here, or you may use one that's already there. So we're going to use one down here called Test. There we go. And you see I've selected it. And we go down to the bottom of the list and we see there's a little Save button down there. Of course, you can cancel as well. So we save that. It tells me it's updated successfully. We click OK. And now we can see over here that's been added that game we selected called test has been added. Now let's go back over to our students page and see if it's shown there. Well it's not shown yet because we haven't updated this page yet. Normally when the student uh, comes and opens the page they'll, uh, it will automatically be there but because we're doing this on the fly uh, we'll actually just hit return and now it will come up. So there you go. You can see we've now got in the English uh, group we've got a maths game and it's called test. So let's click on that and there we have the game. There may be some information here that we wrote. Obviously here we just have test and there's the actual game and it's an adding game so they have to say 1 plus 6. Uh, I think that's 7. It was when I went to school. Let's see if we're right. Yes, you've got the right answer, 7. Okay. Now for this particular game we also score. We've got a score up the top there. So let's go and go back to the uh, teacher page. We're back on the teacher page. We can say there's this game here. Obviously we can go to enable games and enable as many games here. There's no limit to the number of games that you can enable and of course when you go back to the t uh, student page they'll have that whole list of games. We found from experience it's better to only enable a few games at a time for very specific purposes that you want to do. Um, there's one other thing I want to show you here, which is uh, if we click on the test over here, and the game that you have selected, we can actually edit that game. So we would then go into, and we did remember in the previous videos, we showed how we create games. Now we're looking at how we edit that game. So this little one, we're just going to do some very basic uh, editing. We're just going to change the lower bound to 5 instead of 10, and we're going to save that. That's been updated and then if we go over to the uh, test over here on the student page we'll see that that's been changed as well. But you know it's pretty obvious it's all going to work so I'm not going to do that right now. So thank you very much for listening to how to enable games in the eClil games engine.